Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kurbo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the One Who Totem mod, which is being released by user Carrot. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the chair and rockets of the legendary One Who, who in the Ming Dynasty attempted to launch himself into the stars by sitting on said chair with a whole load of rockets. And, of course, proceeded to explode. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, actually makes him the perfect legendary figure for the Kerbals of Kerbal Space Program. Oh my, the amount of rockets I have made explode in this game. So let's uh, jump on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what we do get here. And yeah, this is this is definitely one of those mods that I saw on the recently updated section of the space dock. Thought was hilarious, and so here we are. So there are only two parts, technically three. So not gonna be a long one here today. So let's begin by grabbing a Mark One lander can for size comparison's sake, and then head on to our mod filter, just leaving on one who. And we'll start by having a gander at the first part, which I apologize right off the bat for any mispronunciation here. I definitely don't speak the language. So let's begin with the Yang Wang Zing Kong, or looking at the stars, which is the legendary chair in question, and for game purposes is a command chair with a crew capacity of 1, reaction wheel with torque of 10 on the pitch, yaw, and roll, has a built-in SAS, and a battery of 100 electric charge. And as you can see here, it is... A gorgeous little chair, very nice on the detailing, I especially love the backing of the chair there. Very, very cool indeed, and even without it being a command chair, I just kind of like the idea of maybe setting up a couple of these on the moon to, you know, just have our Kerbals lounge around for a bit. It would be quite entertaining, I think. And all in all, it's just a very neat design for a command seat. Now, I actually did go into Google Translate and get all of the uh, Chinese characters here translated, and apparently they found this in an antique shop. And thus, here we are with it as our glorious command chair here. Now, a moment ago, I did mention there's technically three parts. And for that, or the reason why that is, is because, well, as you can see, we have two command chairs here. The Yang Wang Zing Kong and the Zhao Tasha Di. Now, again, according to Google Translate of the characters here, this is meant to be an updated version of the one they found in the antique store. And, um, problem with that is they are identical in every way, shape, and form. They have all the same stats over here of the 10 reaction wheel torque, SAS electric charge, and even all the same stats here of like mass, tolerance, max temperature, etc. Now I have a feeling that because this one was supposed to be the one found in the antique store, maybe these stats here aren't supposed to be here. That it is perhaps just supposed to be a command chair with crew capacity, and this one's the one that should only have the reaction wheel, etc. Um, but, that being said, I think they're both cool, and uh, just use whichever one you think has a more fun name. Either the looking at the stars, or actually I don't think I said this one, Jata Shadi is down to earth, which is pretty cool. Now the final third part here is down in engines, and this is our famous rockets, which are the Jingdian Paozang, which stands for Celebration Rocket, and they have a pretty minimal thrust of a max of 9.172 kilonewtons in atmosphere, with an ISP of 380, and are, of course, solid fuel with 80 of them total. And again, they are just a neat little rocket. I love, absolutely love the design on these things. It's very cool, far more detailed and interesting interesting of a texture on a rocket than we typically see in this game because, well, I mean, it's a Ming Dynasty medieval Chinese rocket, not a science rocket. And I love it. Now, on to some minor problems we have with this thing. Uh, now, the actual legend of Wan Hu says that he had 47 of these rockets around this thing, which he then had 47 people light all at once. And, um, 
Yeah, I, uh, oh boy, even no matter what you do symmetry-wise, unless you really start stacking these things one on top of the other, uh, you're, you're really never gonna get to that 47. I think the most I got was like tw uh, 24 or 30, somewhere in there. And because of just how physics in this game works, they freak out. They, they freak the crap out. In fact, I can only really get four of them to be on the chair at any given point in time without completely freaking out. Now I know that there are some mods out there that do help counteract the oddities of physics in this game, but I always look at these mods as they stand with just them installed and any prerequisites, and none of those were considered prerequisites. So, um, yeah, if you don't have those installed, max you're gonna be able to hold on here is four. Anything beyond that, it's gonna freak out and explode. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, but other than that, they're just kind of fun and awesome. And actually, I've had a bit of fun off cam just attaching like loads of these to separators and decouplers and trying to create little fireworks shows of these rockets just flying off into random directions. I mean, they are called Celebration Firecrackers, so why not use them as such? But for our purposes today, I did make... Do I, did I actually, oh boy, did I leave that out on the launch pad or not? I don't know. Let's grab my Wanhu Totem one, which do help with the physics at least a little bit and try to stabilize this thing. I added on, of course, some uh, struts. Yeah, it just made it too heavy for it to really launch, but it ends up kind of looking like how the legend describes. So let's go out and launch to the pad with, I assume, Jebediah on board to give our little ship a go here. And oh uh, boy. Oh boy, yeah, so, in the legend, like I said, 47 rockets around this chair, and a one who got on top, sat there, had people light it, and he just exploded. Uh, for our purposes, we've only got four. Um, Jebediah is still gonna explode, so hey, we're gonna be myth accurate here, and that, that's a wonderful thing. So let's launch in three, two, one. Good luck, Jebediah. Oh boy, there we go. To oh, I forgot I gotta click one more. There we are. Oh, they're freaking out. And he's close. <laughs> oh, and they're going off in different directions. There that one goes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's actually try that one more time because I forgot to <laughs> move the engines down to activate the same time I released the separator on this thing. So maybe, maybe we can get a little bit more airborne. So let's pop that in there. Jebediah back out again. Up you go, my friend, into that chair. And let us fire. Go, Jebediah, go! He's still going to explode. And boom! But again, myth accurate. Myth accurate. <laughs> <laughs> the legend does say the people lit it, he exploded. Now, Jebediah actually did survive somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it was only four rockets, so it wasn't quite so bad. But uh, still, still, it's very amusing. And like I said at the beginning, Wan Hu, definitely the legendary figure that Kerbal Space Program deserves. But that is going to be it for this mod today. Just a weird, wacky little thing, and I love it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Do also, of course, forgot to mention, if you would like to check this mod out for yourself, you can have a look at the link in the description. But that is going to be it for today. Hopefully you have enjoyed. You come back for the next, and uh, when hopefully we'll be looking to get another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always... Have a good one!